Let me share my reflection today from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 6, verses 39 to 42. I was struck by the last part of verse 42 when Jesus said, First, take the log out of your own eye, and then you will be able to see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. Are you familiar with this announcement? Oxygen and air pressure are always being monitored. In the event of a decompression, an oxygen mask will automatically appear in front of you. To start the flow of oxygen, pull the mask towards you and place it firmly over your nose and mouth. Secure the elastic band behind your head and breathe normally. Although the bag does not inflate, oxygen will is flowing through the mask. If you are traveling with a child or someone who requires assistance, secure your mask first and then assist the other person. This is one of the standard announcements before an, an airplane takes off. I, I have heard uh, it a lot of times, but the last portion always strikes me. Before you assist anyone, secure your mask first. The first time I heard it, I said, hmm, I'm, am I not being selfish if I secure my self first before others? Then I understood that uh, I will not be, in, be able to save someone in need if I myself am not in a position to, to help. If I do not put my mask on before helping another, both of us might end up not being able to wear the mask and die. Whereas if I secure my mask first, then I am relaxed and not worried about my own oxygen source while helping another. The gospel today somehow reminded me of this. In the gospel, the Lord was even joking when he said, why do you look at the speck in your brother's eye, but pay no attention to the log in your own eye? How can you say that to your brother, please brother, let me take the speck out of your eye, yet cannot even see the log in your own eye. I believe the Lord is reminding me that when I help others, I need to be in a position to help. If I call others on to trust the Lord more, to serve more, to give more to the Lord, then I need to be an example of that. I need to walk the talk. If I'm not able to be a good example of what I say, then I even become a hindrance for others to believe. If I'm not a good example, I will not be able to be in a good position to help, encourage, and inspire others. Let us pray. Lord, give us the grace to examine ourselves daily, to see the log in our eye, and remove it, so that when we go out, we are in a good position to help others remove any speck or lag in their eye as well. Give us the grace to have more of you through your life-giving words in the scriptures so that we are in a good position to share you with others. Amen.